Hey guys, what's up? This is Sparks, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the Armor Status mod for Minecraft for the brand new Minecraft 1.6.1. So, if you guys check out the link in the description, it's going to say the Armor Status mod, so you guys go down there and click on that. Um, you're going to want to scroll all the way down, um, past the video and stuff, past the BSPQ, uh, BSP KRS core, scroll all the way down here to the Armor Status HUD, click Show for more info, right here, spoiler, more info, go all the way down, go to Downloads, it's going to say Downloads right here, you're always going to want to download the latest version, and currently that is 1.8 for Minecraft 1.6.1, so download that and save it on your desktop, it should look just like that, Armor Status 1.6. Point one armor status HUD, and for the second thing you're actually going to need, and it is required for this mod. Um, scroll all the way back up here after you've done with the armor status, you can just hide that again. So just go up here to the BSP KRS core. Now this is required. See this attention. This is required. So it is required to install this. Um, so all you have to do right here is the mod loader forge download um, latest release. Now I was a little, I was just a little confused at first by the mod loader forge download but this is actually the bsp bsp krs core so you just click latest release there um you're gonna see that this is the core so just download that right there 1.6.1 and download and save that on your desktop and it should look just like that now that is the core now that the reason why we're downloading that is because that is actually a runner and it is actually required for the armor status so in order to make the armor status mod work you're actually going to need that so make sure those things are, are downloaded from his website there and for the second thing you guys are actually going to need is minecraft forge minecraft forge is required also for this mod otherwise it will not work and it will not run so make sure you guys to go to the uh, link in the description for forge um, you're going to see the all downloads here you're always going to want to make sure you download the very top version that is always the most up to date and um, I guess you could say up to date required version of forge so click on the installer right there um, just download that installer and save it on your desktop just like that minecraft forge installer now the reason why I'm showing you guys how to do an installer is because it's much easier than actually doing it in the Minecraft. So just open that Minecraft installer. You're going to see install client, push OK. And as you can see, inst successfully installed client profile Forge for version Forge into launcher. So push OK there. And you guys are actually ready to start installing the mod. Um, but actually first, if you guys open Minecraft, um, this is the new mo new launcher here. So the Minecraft launcher, you're going to see Bootstrap started, all the actual stuff all the extra stuff you're gonna see the forge profile forge um, version forge and you wanna go to edit profile make sure you use the version that says release forge so just make sure you do that um, so forge 8.9 there push save profile and you're actually gonna to need to put in your user username and stuff here so I'm just gonna do that really quick okay so once you guys have the username and your password in log me in automatically push a play now the reason why I'm actually pushing play and I'm actually starting the game is because if you do this um, it's actually gonna create the mods folder for you it's gonna create all the necessary files that you need to do so it's very much it's a lot easier to do this so just make sure you just after you install the forge with the on um, the Minecraft forge installer um, very easy like I showed you guys um, just put in your just make sure then after you go to edit profile and make sure you're using the version forge so that's all you have to do there and wait for this Mojang screen to get done you can see this is the 1.6.1 version um, now this will work in later versions also as long and I won't change the title unless it is actually working for that and if it does change the way you install it I will make a new video so you guys can always rec oh you can always uh, you can always I guess you could say um, rely on my title of my videos because I don't change them if they don't work so anyway you're gonna see this is Minecraft 1.6.1 Minecraft Forge 3 mods loaded 3 mods active so then you're gonna want to push quit game now the reason again why I was gonna say um, is you you want to push play there is because if you guys go down to start and you type in a start you type, type in percent app D A T A. There's percent app data and another percent. And you're gonna see this roaming folder. You wanna click on that roaming folder. You're gonna see this dot Minecraft folder right here. You wanna open that dot Minecraft folder. And you, this is again. This is the reason why I, I wanted you guys to open the Minecraft first and just push play and see if there was three mods loaded, three mods active. Is because if you guys actually do that, it's gonna create this mods folder for you. So you just open that mods folder. Make sure that folder is empty. And all you have to do is is uh, highlight the armor status and the BSP KRS core. Just drag both of those into the mods folder and you guys are ready to play so first thing I want to do is push play and I just want to show you guys that it's actually working because this is the 1.6.1 uh, thing and again this is it's a very new installer and I hey I'm new to it too so maybe I could be wrong and I want to check it myself just to make sure it is actually working so um, actually after all this words and all this stuff and all this okay after after it loads up finally 
You're going to see this Mojang screen forever. Uh, it's going to take forever. You know what? I always notice that the O and the J are all different size than the M. The M is a different size. That's I've always noticed that. Like the thickness and stuff. All the other ones are the same thickness and the M's different. So now that Minecraft is up, you're going to see the five mods loaded, five mods active. We're going to go to that mods folder. We're going to scroll down. You're going to see the BSP KRS core and the armor status. And that means it is installed and you guys are ready to play with the armor status mod. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. Um, if you guys actually, I'm actually going to be doing some other mods and stuff that is actually in the BSP KRS um, thing here. I'm going to be doing um, the other things. Also, he has tree capitator. I am going to be doing that, and I'm going to go check it right now to see if that's up to date. I don't, maybe I'll put that as a video response as soon as I do, do that to this video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully it helped you guys out, and maybe you could subscribe, subscribe for more mods. It's always very helpful that you guys are subscribing and watching my videos. I really appreciate it, and I just want to thank, say thank you guys again.